Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefine Horizons, and this is a video I'm doing for one of my survey techs, Cameron. So I've got Virtual Surveyor pulled up here. This is a survey of a roughly two acre site that we did uh, up northeast of Sacramento. And Cameron has already gone in and um, extracted uh, spot elevation grids uh, on, on these areas where we're able to do this. And this, this site has quite a bit of tree cover here. Um, so, uh, you know, there are some areas of the site where, where uh, we can't uh, use the UAV uh, ortho and uh, dim digital elevation model to extract our topo data. So uh, we, we did a bunch of, not a bunch, but we did a fair amount of infill surveys. But what I want to do now is go in and, and get what I can um, in the way of break lines and what I call boundaries out. Um, in the areas that we're able to do that. <clears throat> and then we're going to blend that in with our uh, with our data from our ground surveys that we did with the total station. <clears throat> but I thought it'd be good to just show Cameron how I was going to do this. So um, the first thing we want to do is uh, we're going to just go ahead and go in and, and get some break lines out, okay, before we worry about the boundaries. And there, there's not a lot on the site that we need to break line, but uh, we do want to break line the driveways. And uh, we're not worried about brake line in any of the streetscape out here because uh, we we have hardscape uh, shots on that, and you can see why we did that. We've, we've got a little bit of a rippling here in the street. Um, so all that got shot with the total station. Okay, but we do want to try and get these driveways out. Okay, and there's a certain way that you want to do this. So what, what we want to do is we want to make a new layer. Um, and so we're going to call this... Uh, we're going to use our RH layer standard. So we're going to say survey lines. I'm sorry, survey topo. Okay, lines 3D. And then I'm going to put um, uh, edge of pavement. Okay, so we'll add that as a layer. Okay. And now we want to go ahead and uh, draw some polylines. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And uh, we're just going to do our best to get uh, the edge of pavement. And this is old pavement, you know, so there's not always a super clearly delineated line, but we're going to do, we're going to do the best we can here. Okay, now, you, you, we're going to run into issues here where we get to the trees, and that's okay. I'm going to get, you know, reasonably close to the tree, and then I'll right-click to end that line. So we can't run the line through the trees there, right? Okay, and then we'll do the same thing here. So the edge of pavement's over here. Okay. You know, we don't gotta go crazy with the with the number of points. Okay, and I, I gotta stop somewhere in here because I'm getting into the distortion of the trees. Okay. So there's that first uh, driveway. Okay, so then we're gonna come over and uh, do the same thing here. Okay, so I gotta find that rough edge of pavement. Okay, and again, I'm going to run this up to where I think I'm getting into the distortion from the veg, which is probably right there. Okay, and then we'll do that here. Okay, and uh, I can't go as far up on this side because we got the trees over there. Okay, so we've got our driveways there. Now we're going to come into this pocket here, and uh, we're going to try and do some more of this edge of pavement. Okay, now Cameron already did a pretty good job of extracting uh, some break lines out around this little retaining wall on the lawn. Okay, but uh, we want to get as close as we can to the edge of pavement here. Okay, so we're going to just go around. We got the dumpster here. So we're going to get, you know, reasonably close. Oh, I don't know what it just did there. Sorry. Actually, you know what? I'm going to come back to this. <clears throat> We're going to do that. That should actually be a boundary. So uh, let's see if we can see any more edges of pavement. Okay, so we can get a little edge of pavement in here. It's hard to see, but I was actually there on the ground. So I have a rough idea that edge of pavement is right in here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and draw that in. Okay, now we got to be careful here because this isn't the actual edge of pavement. Okay, um, the edge of pavement is actually under the veg a little bit. Okay, so I'm, I don't want to make that a break line. That's going to be a boundary. Okay, 
So I don't know that there's any more edge of pavement in there. Okay. Now I do want to come in and get some brake lines on the concrete. Okay, now we have some hardscape shots on the concrete that we took. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and brake line these and uh, we can use that. Uh, you know, we'll check that against the, the shots with the total station and, uh, uh, you know, we can make some adjustments to the brake lines. But I, I want to go ahead and draw them in. Okay. Now, depending on what you're doing, you know, you, you may not be able to take your uh, brake lines like this from the UAV topo. Uh, but that's that's why we got some total station shots here. Okay, now I don't I don't want to cut across here because that's not the actual edge, right? So I'm just going to end that there. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing here. And again, I, I can't get much closer than that, right? Okay, so I got my edge of concrete there. Now, there is some edge of concrete in here. Okay, but we actually uh, we shot a bunch of this with the gun because I knew we had the tree here, right? Uh, so for now, I'm going to just go ahead and leave that. I think we have enough shots on that concrete. Okay, and uh, we took some shots in here, but I'm going to go ahead and get as much of this concrete out as I can. Uh, we can just We can use it as a check. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and draw this in here. Okay, and we got a shot. There's a little drain here. We got a shot on the drain. Okay, but I'm going to get as much of this. Now, I have dorked this up. Okay, and the reason I dorked it up is these last few lines have not been edge of pavement. They've been edge of concrete. So let's show you how to fix that. So we're going to come down here and make a new layer. Survey topo lines, 3D edge of concrete okay and then what you gotta do is you gotta drag those concrete lines down to your new layer okay so now they're on the concrete layer that that's gonna become important when we uh, when we export okay now I um, we got a couple shots but I'm not a hundred percent sure how much of this we were able to get so I'm going to go ahead and come in here and get some of the pool here. Okay. We do have some shots on this concrete. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and, and run a brake line around the pool here. Okay. And I probably can't go any farther than this because I got the tree. Okay. But we've got the pool there. Okay, and this this actually has some a rolled lip on it here. Okay, but uh, this is a nice clean edge uh, right here. You can kind of see there's a nice clean edge here. So the UAV uh, did not the photogrammetry software did not like the rolled edge on that brick. Okay, now this is going to become important later when we go to run our surface. Uh, we want a a uh, you know a brake line around the building as much as the building we can get. Okay, but I don't want to call that a, an actual brake line because this concrete runs back into the building, right? So that's what I call a boundary. Okay, so I think I have all the brake lines out that I can get out. So now I want to do some what I call boundaries, okay? So those those may not be the actual limit of the physical feature, but they're the, they're the limits of what we can get on the aerial. Okay, so we're going to we're going to keep it on the polyline command for now, uh, but we're going to make some new layers. Okay, so we're going to, um, I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to call it survey uh, topo lines, okay, 3D, and this is just going to be called boundary. Okay, um, and you're going to see why, why we do it that way. Okay, so now I'm just, I want to run around you know what I what I feel like is the limits of the good elevation data in in some locations here and one of the things we want to do is we want to be able to cut the surface the building out of the surface model okay so I want to make sure that I've got a boundary as, as much around the entire building surface as I can get it okay because we're gonna need that when we run our surface okay and, and if for some reason the client needs 
some more building details, uh, we can certainly go back and get that. You know, you want to be careful now that you don't get too close to the edge, right? Because you'll get some distortion. So you got to be careful because it starts ramping up, right? So, you know, somewhere in there is where we got to get. Okay. You know, we got some we got some shrubbery here, right? So I'm going to pull this line probably, th let's see, can we get right yeah. Probably right there is as close as I can get. So this is just, we're going to have a hole in our surface here, okay, where the building sits, and that's okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end that line there, you know, and then I, I'm going to come back out here, right, where I think I can get some good elevation values, okay, which is along the edges of those shrubs. Okay, you, got, you can see I've got some distortion in here, so I want to be careful with that. Okay, so I'm probably going to just come across right here because this is starting to get pretty bumpy. Okay. You know, yeah, it's hard to tell there. I feel like I need to be out here. Um, and this isn't, you know, it's definitely not perfectly flat. Like, there's some variation out here. Okay, so, you know, we're just, we're trying to figure out, you know, what's reasonable, you know, what's a reasonable limit to where I think we can pull out some decent spots, but you're going to see later when, well, I'll try and do another video when we run the surface, like, we're going to use these boundaries um, that we're creating now as break lines in our surface, okay, so I probably can't go much farther than that, okay, so that kind of delineates that area inside here that boundary delineates that area inside there where I think we can pull off some reasonable Z's. Okay, so uh, we're going to come over now and do that in the parking lot. Again, I'm just on the boundary layer, right? And uh, we want to figure out, you know, like what's a reasonable boundary here uh, that we can that we can pull, you know, decent surface data off of. Okay. We're just doing that all on that on that boundary layer. Okay. You know, the other thing too is, uh, you know, depending on what you're doing, what what your survey's for, uh, you can't do do this with pavement. You would need total station shots on all this pavement. Okay, but this is an old old site, and this pavement is you can probably see it's it's super tore up and already super rippled. <laughs> so I'm not worried about a tenth of a foot out here. You know, I got to be careful going in here. We're just we're getting a lot of distortion with the trees, right? So I don't want to grab any data there. Okay, but we can come around these trees. So I'm just putting kind of a boundary on the area that I think is good off the aerial for elevation data. Okay, and then uh, you know what part of what this is going to do is this going to allow us to evaluate, you know, where did we get enough infill data, and did we get enough infill data? You know, the areas behind these boundaries need to have some infill data. And uh, we did get quite a bit of infill data on this site, but some of this uh, site, you know, there, the veg was even too thick to get good infill data with the total station. All right, so um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just run up the edge of the trees. Okay. So I know, you know, I can't get much, much good behind here. And, uh, you know, in here, I was able to get under the trees. We, we were able to do that with the total station. And so we got some data in there. You know, I start getting in here, and things start looking pretty bumpy. So I'm probably going to in there. Okay, so now we've got that kind of boundary that shows me, you know, what do I think is good data. Okay, I'm going to fill this in a little bit here. Um, you know, I think we've got some good data here on this pavement. You know, and the pavement's pretty tore up anyways and you know don't be a, don't be afraid to pan and orbit your 3d view a little bit okay now it doesn't bubble up here right that's some distortion there so I don't want to include that you know and I'm gonna take this up you know I'm gonna get what I can get here in the grassy area you know we do have some trees along the fence so I gotta be careful how how high I go there but um, you know, and then same thing, right? We want, we're we going to need to cut this building out. So I got to evaluate, you know, where am I going to cut that building out? So we'll, we'll try and do that. You know, and you can just tell it had a hard time with the building on this, on this shady side, right? 
like I'm just getting some bad data there so and we, we have some building shots too that we'll be able to compare with you know I feel like that's a little better you know I probably got to come out here a little farther than I want okay and again we got shots on the concrete here and uh, there is a couple break lines that we shot so we'll get what we can though okay and then again I'm gonna come in here you know as close as I reasonably think I can to the building here oh, that's probably that's probably about what we can get okay so again just kind of delineates that area where I think we can get some good surface data okay so um, we can do that in the back now I have a little bit of a of a gap here in my uh, imagery right um, that we got to fill in uh, but I can you know I'm comfortable enough with uh, some of this data here that I you know I think these are good Z's right and we'll check some of these we've got some ground data we can check with okay but I'm just trying to come in here you know and reasonably figure out like alright where where do I have good data because there was a lot of edge on this site Okay, and I'm comfortable jumping this gap because I was there. I walked it. It's basically flat as a pancake. Okay. Oh, it's not going to let me do a boundary. I didn't do a closed boundary on that one. So I'll close that. Yeah, you know, that's important because what you would think we had more good data there, but, but when you zoom in, you see it's not as good as we thought. So, you know, it may be that, that we've got a little bit of infill to do right here okay and um, I could do that for the for the grassy areas here but but Cameron did a pretty good job of that when he did his spot grids um, you know but it's, it's the same kind of principle right so you just come in here and you're just kind of picking points and this is all going on that boundary layer right we just want to know like all right how much of this you know is is good for elevation data you know when we go and run our surface and you know what like for for example in here the tr the trees are super thick and there's some understory there you know I'm not going to get I'm not going to get super great infill data there even with the total station and so what we what we have to evaluate then is you know between this boundary and this boundary what do I do about these Z's here right because this is super super thick veg and it may be that we just have to cloud this and interpolate some contours in here and let the engineer know like hey you know if, if for some reason this becomes critical for the design these elevations in here like we gotta go in and you know cut down some brush to be able to get that okay now in here we do have some I got was able to get under the canopy here and get some ground shots but um, you know same kind of principle right so you know we just want to kind of delineate what we think is good for the Z's so we're just going to kind of go around the tree canopy. Again, I'm just on my boundary layer. Okay, and Cameron did this for a spot grid, but I'm just getting a little closer. Um, I'm just getting a little closer than he did when he ran his spot grid. Okay, and again, I'll try and do another video where, <clears throat> where we show you how this how this ends up in the surface okay so I've got one more area to do here and then uh, and then we'll be done I think okay and you just it takes some experience to kind of get a handle on where to you know where to pick these points and you know to kind of see when you start running into some distortion So then we got this last little bit over here, you know, and this gets confusing. There's a retaining wall and an overhead power line in here, you know, so it gets a little bit messy. But, you know, I can come in here and pick out what I think, you know, we're going to have good data on. Probably something, some, something like that. Okay, so... Uh, we've got what we think we can get now out of here. So uh, what's actually nice is you can come in and, and turn off your image layers, and then you can kind of see, um, you know, what you've got for boundaries and break lines, right? 
So we're going to use this when we run our surface. Okay. So what we want to do now is we want to export this, and we're going to do that as a DXF. Okay, so we'll export the survey. <clears throat> and I'll go put this in the job. Okay, and I'm just going to call this uh, break lines. Okay, now if you open that DXF, I won't do that because the video has gone long, but if you open that DXF, things will be layered as they are here in the uh, the tree view or the explorer view in virtual surveyor. So that everything will be on the right layer and we can drop this in. So we're going to we're going to drop this in with the spot elevation points that Cameron made plus the points and break lines from the total station data and then we'll run our surface and do our topo mapping. So all right guys, appreciate you watching. Hope that video was helpful and uh, we'll catch you again on another video.